Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. The bottom of this deck, I don't know if y'all can see that, is Divine Connection. Okay, I haven't even pulled any cards. I just shuffled and that was on the bottom. Okay, then we had on the bottom of this deck, I shuffled the Light Seers. It's the Five of Cups. Then we have the Five of Swords. All right, the number 55, 555. Five, five. This is a number of change. This is a number of conflict. Um, obviously here, somebody's in some form of regret or remorse for playing games or putting you in competition, being maybe manipulative a little bit or something here. And I definitely think it's this divine masculine. Okay. I definitely think this is divine masculine. This is, the, uh, when I saw this card, I immediately, what came to my mind was, this divine masculine is hiding in the shadows, right? I feel like this divine masculine and the divine masculine can be female. I know there's a male on this card, okay? But this is just the energy. So, so remember that. All right. This person's hiding in the shadows. They hid their feelings. This is somebody here who either hid their feelings from you because moves in silence came out also, right? Um, but I feel like this person hides who they really are to other people. Like, on the exterior, it looks all good and hunky-dory. But, like, this divine masculine has a lot of learning to do. This person's on, still in a karmic cycle. Because they're in regret and remorse over how they treated you. If you resonate with the divine feminine, the, they obviously did something. Okay? To be in this energy. That's not good energy. Underneath that is the death card and the world card. You see what I'm saying? Uh, the world cycle, a karmic cycle that needs to end. Queen of Cups, this is how you showed up. You are you were very disappointed with this divine masculine. You showed up as the Queen of Cups. You're very disappointed and let down by this person's energy. You decided to just move on. You may have been upset about this for a little while, but Spirit is saying your person is going to get their karmic justice here, okay? Or justice is, is going to be brought to you regardless of the situation, okay? Just So just know that. Back to this divine, divine masculine energy. So this divine masculine, it can't get over you, okay? They may not show it. You may not think that. You may not have talked to this person, but I am telling you this divine masculine is re misses you is in a lot of regret and they're doing everything they can to get over you and not think about you this person is sleeping with people they have options okay this divine masculine definitely has op options and i feel like they don't tell their business they're real hush hush like low-key they could be a hoe they could be a they could be a city boy or a city girl you know what i mean it, you know adults only conversation this person i'm telling you is somebody here who doesn't really fall in love with people very often this person is very closed off either this person was i feel like with this five of swords popping up here with this closed off guarding and resistance energy this person resisted the love that you you came towards them as the queen of cups and they resisted that this person's not going to change you felt like you were wasting your time with them because this person is stuck. They were limited. They were stuck in this old karmic energy, stuck in their ego. This person is really, really trying to come across and appear as that they have moved on, but they have not moved on. Okay, moving on re in reverse. Yeah, this person, even if this person has somebody right now, and I'm not even really sure why the divine wants to talk about this person, like why this is relevant to discuss. <laughs> because like, okay, spirit, we get it. You know, it's like, again, we saw the world card, right? We, we've got, I don't know if y'all can see this, but up right, this says done, lessons learned. Well, that's in reverse. This person has not, is not able to make a decision. This person is not, they don't know what they want when it comes to the, the i'm not even sure that this person knows what they want when it comes to a relationship period they just i feel like they just want to have fun and they've got some like growing up to do it says i made up my mind i'm not wasting any more time done like this person's not done there's this person has not moved on from you even though they've acted like they are they want to make a the look and for also for some of y'all this was at the top of the deck too this person I'm telling you is not um, 
there are just show me more on this divine masculine please yeah this person is just not going to grow you know so why would you even like this person has some growing and healing to do so it's kind of like you were disappointed yeah the five you see that came out again this divine masculine show me divine masculine please yeah this divine masculine is like suffering in silence is the energy i'm getting that's what i just heard suffering in silence you could be dealing with a gemini libra or an aquarius okay i feel like this is you you got your back turned to this you may not even be aware of this okay they regret what they did because you set boundaries with them or they could be an air sign okay they don't have to be but they're just thinking about things they set boundaries with me. They're not talking to me. For some of you guys, you could have cut communication. They're in this regret and remorse. King of Pentacles energy, Seven of Cups. They're confused, though. They're confused. They really, they don't know what they want. I told you they don't know what they want. Oh, what is this that flew? Moving on. You may unexpectedly hear from this person because this just flew on top of moving on here, you may have un you might unexpectedly hear from this person. So now we have Scorpio energy out here, eight of wands. Okay, but bottom of the deck is the seven of wands. Seven of wands is protecting yourself, standing up for what's right. I feel like this is also you blocking communication. Like some of y'all, this person is on block, and even if they call, they can't get through. So I don't. For some of y'all, this could be an Aquarius here. This person. I feel like you're blocking this energy. You're trying to heal. Yeah, yeah, look at this. You're blocking this energy and you're focusing on yourself. You're you're blocking the, the drama, the five of wands energy. So five, 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 y'all could be seeing synchronicities inside. So five, five, five definitely is relevant here, right? You are setting boundaries, healing, showing yourself love and affection right now. And you're not with the bullshit. You don't, you're not with this bullshit. Show me moves in silence. What is why is moves in silence here? Mm. I mean, Spirit obviously wanted to talk about this, so maybe there's something here that you need to know that'll help you understand something, have more clarity about it. You know what I'm saying? Why is the moves in silence here? Look at that. Moves in silence, four wands. For some of y'all, this person may be married. For some of y'all, I feel like this person could be driving by your house, wondering where you live. I feel like this person secretly um, wants to unite with you and be with you. I do. I low-key feel like that, that they want to reunite. They want... Show me more information about this moves in silence. Let's see. This person may want to show up at your house. We'll see. To communicate. You see what I'm saying? There's some sort of communication here. So somebody secretly may want to communicate with you. Page of Wands and a Page of Pentacles. For some of you all, this could be a younger Sagittarius or a younger Earth sign. We do have the King of Pentacles here. Right? Show me one more for moves in silence. What is this about? Why is moves in silence here? All right. Two of wands in the chariot. So somebody's trying to make a decision. Remember, we have this decision card here. The chariot and the two of wands. This person's trying to get in their car and go somewhere. This person could be planning to get in their car, like I said, and pull up on you or something. I don't know. Go somewhere where they know you are. Six, yeah, this person wants some attention from you. Six of, six of wands. Hmm. I don't know. Still doesn't look like they learn anything. So, all right. Show me this closed off and guarded resistant energy, please. Spirit guide. Why is that here? Three of cups. Okay, they could be a cancer. All right. They could have been closed off because they were seeing other people. They may have just treated you like you were friends with benefits or something, you know, or they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. The Seven of Cups is over here with this King of Pentacles, okay? The Three of Cups is somebody could have been third party, many options, dating several people, you know, that's what it's looking like. Yeah, like I said, five, put you in competition. Five of Wands came out again, Sagittarius Energy. 
Yeah. You know, and also, too, these persons may hang around some really immature people, immature friends. This could be friends, family members who have uh, enabled this person's behavior. For some of y'all, for some of y'all, this could be friends, a friend group who was jealous and had something to say, something about their past. These are people they've known for a while who have an opinion um, you know, and it's just, it just got in the way and created some form of drama here. Give me one more for clothes off. Yeah. Yeah, look at this, the hermit card. <laughs> clothes off, that makes total sense. This person, for some of y'all, could have just stopped communicating. Stopped talking. Or, or this could be your energy too, Virgo energy with the hermit here. I think now this person is realizing what this drama created, though. Yeah, because now they're starting to block that out from their friends or family. Now this person's like, damn, I see, I see why the divine feminine, you know, basically did what they did. And that seven of spirit said the seven of wands is gonna be out here. It's crossing that. So the fact that this seven of wands just came out crossing the hermit, it is telling me this person is having a hard time trusting their wisdom, using their discernment and and being mature uh, and to block these third parties energies these people who created conflict and drama or who you know just just created some form of drama i don't a conflict why is moving on here in reverse please yeah why is moving on yeah the emperor the divine masculine is not moving on <laughs> show me why moving on is here in reverse with the emperor please Look at this. The Seven of Pentacles Crossing. You know, the Seven of Pentacles Crossing is about... Uh, some. The Seven of Pentacles is already somebody waiting to invest and decide. This, this Emperor is... This Divine Masculine is waiting to decide. Like, am I gonna, do I want to invest time and effort and energy into this? I think this person feels like it's too much work. I, they don't, this Divine Masculine does not realize, they could be an Aries, this Divine Masculine doesn't realize that they have work to do. Like, they think you're the work, but the work lies and comes from within them. And they have not figured that out. Show me more about this Divine Masculine here. Clarify the Emperor, please. This person's just waiting and taking their time, knowing good and damn well that they in this Three of Swords energy, that they're hurt. They're hurt. This person, for some of y'all, could have literally is hurt that you're not talking to them or they expect for you to reach out to them by now. Look, they're heartbroken, you know, they because they're, they're in, either in denial about something or they... 222 two, two could be significant. Maybe that's another number you guys have been seeing too. Um, this is about not see, refusing to see something. So this person's walking around like, oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm I'm not hurt. When they're hanging out, doing whatever, acting like they're going, doing their day-to-day -day chores or whatever it is that they're going to work. They're hanging around their family and friends are acting like they're okay. They're not okay. I promise you, did you check on me? <laughs> did you check on me? Like, look, there's the queen of pentacles popping up. This you, this person's heartbroken over you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They're heartbroken over you because they know you were their person. We have the king of pentacles here. Now we have the queen of pentacles here. They know. And you know what? You know this person broke your heart too. You know, I mean, I don't think you were in, I don't think you were in denial about that divine feminine. That's all I'm saying. Um, but I think you've done a lot of healing. You know, you, you, <clears throat> you know your worth, you know your value. Yeah, look at that. This person's sad over this ending. They, they don't want this to be over. I feel like you, you're like, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Show me the Queen of Pentacles, please. Show me the Queen of Pentacles energy. I'm just saying. Yeah, that world card came right back out, didn't it? You're like, no, bye. See you, see you later. 
All right, show me about this decision. Is this person going to make a decision? Oh, the decision is to whether or not they want to invest time, effort, and energy into it. Like I said, with that seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Are, are, is this person going to want... This person wants to work on themselves. They want to try to rebuild something and put in the hard work. But I feel like, again, remember I said this person thinks... The connection is going to be work with you. But what they don't realize is this Eight of Pentacles energy is also self-mastery. Master, mastering of self, learning lessons also, becoming a better person. So the Divine Masculine, I, I, don't, I don't see strong energy. I barely see energy of them really changing. They know what's going on. They're trying to... They're, so some of you all, this person... For some of y'all, this person might be willing to do what it takes. It could be a Gemini here. They've been trying to manifest you back since the ending here. Scorpio, Gemini energy, and there, here, there goes that two of cups. So they do love you. I'm telling you, this person's walking around acting like they're okay. They're not. Show me about this done, completion, lesson, in reverse. So you, you, Queen of Pentacles, you have Divine Feminine. You've learned your lesson. This person has not shown me done in reverse, please, with complete completion and lessons learned. Why is that here? So yeah, look at that. For some of you all, this person could have been manipulative. Show me completion, lessons learned. This person's going to have to repeat this cycle again, I feel like. There we go. More Gemini energy here with the lovers. <laughs> they got a choice and a decision to make. They do. Show me lessons learned. So this in reverse. They haven't, yeah, they got some healing to do. I don't, they haven't learned. One more card. Look, death card, crossing. I told you they haven't learned. Bottom of the deck, nine of swords. I mean, nine of um, wands. I don't feel like... <laughs> This divine masculine has done that. Let's see what this person wants to say. What else? What else from this divine masculine, please? I, I told you this person's not okay. Look at this. I cried myself to sleep knowing that I lost you. Literally. Literally. That's why this, this Three of Swords is here when we were clarifying this Emperor. I think about you as soon as I wake up and before I go to sleep. I'm telling you, this person's trying to act like they don't miss you. Oh no, they, they has miss you. Please trust me again. I doubt it. And doubt it. Obsessed and infatuated. We haven't seen the Devil card come out, but I'm surprised that it hasn't come out. And they are, especially with that lover's card being here. Please forgive me. Yeah. This person could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius here. They could be a Cancer, a Scorpio. It could, totally could be a Gemini. It says, baby, you're, you're one. Wait, what? Baby, you're one of one. Okay. So they know there's nobody like you. That's why they showing up as, um, I told you, top of the day, self-love. This person knows that you take good care of yourself and that you have decided to, to, to set boundaries with them, okay, and focus on yourself. That's that, that Ace of Cups energy we saw. That's that, um, you know, um, temperance energy. We, um, no, that was a star. Yeah, energy we saw on the bottom of the deck. They actually, that's what's drawing them in closer to you. They're intrigued at the fact that you stood your ground and protected yourself and literally are taking good care of yourself and making better choices and ended this with them. I don't want to hurt you. I will never be happy until you return to me. Well, I mean, for some of y'all, you know, you do what you want. How am I supposed to replace you? Well, shit, you tell me. You had it figured out. Otis, you had it figured out. 
I mean, I'm just saying. Like, the three, the clothes, remember we had closed off energy, right? We had closed off energy. Then we had clarifying that was this day long three three of um cups and the five of wands so you you tell me cletus shoot you you i thought you had that all figured out you don't oh you didn't have that figured out oh they didn't have it figured out collective i love the way you carry yourself i told you this person really does you're showing up as the queen of pentacles you're taking care of yourself. You're putting your foot down. You're setting boundaries, male or female, okay? Um, let's see. You should be with me instead. Oh, okay, so this person's jealous. They're jealous of whatever, whoever they think you're with. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. They're jealous. They're poking around. They're sneaking around, especially if they're obsessed with you and infatuated with you. They're moving and watching you in the background, like I said, very quietly. For some of y'all, this person is driving by your house or driving by your job or something. Like, look at this man with this this hoodie on, with his head down, and with moves in silence. Oh yeah, and we have obsessed and infatuated. But see, this is somebody here who is so into their ego. They how they would not want anybody to know that this is the shit that they're doing. Hmm. Oh, you could miss me with that. I told you that watching you, it says your body is so sexy. My person is jealous of you. Oh, okay. So one of the th one of these thoughts or city girls, okay, is jealous of you. Who cares? I want to worship you from head to toe. And they do. And they do. They already do. So I don't. I don't know why that's in future tense because, you know, <laughs> let's get a few more. All right, let's move on to this other side of this deck and see if Spirit has any more. I'm, um, I'm falling in love. Well, they fell in love with you a while ago, right? Do you still think about me? I don't know, you guys. I don't think, I think you think about me from time to time, but I feel like you moved on, you know? All right, Spirit said that's enough. It says, "Can we please start over on the top of the deck?" Uh, y'all, y'all wanna, y'all wanna try again? I'm just asking for a friend. I'm asking for a friend. Let me know in the comments. I miss the sound of your voice. Do you still think about me too? Hmm. Let me show you that I'm different. Oh shit. We gonna pull some cards on this. I don't think that they are, but I'll pull some more. You deserve the world and do. The world card is here. That's why you ended it. Don't let me go. You see what I'm saying? So let's pull some energy on this. Let me show you that I'm different. Spirit, show me here. The energy for let me show you that I'm different. Houseway. How's this different? Has the divine masculine changed? Show me about this. Let me show you that I'm different energy. Page of, okay, let's see. Page of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Ah, it's not looking good. The Tower. It's not looking good. I'm me in the Hermit. Okay, it's still not telling me they changed. Virgo energy, Scorpio energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, bottom of the deck is Ace of Wands. What it's giving is I want to communicate with you so we can go have sex. Um, somebody may also be getting un un unexpectedly kicked out of their house or unexpectedly put out of their house or something here. Um, or they may be coming towards you to say, hey, like, I don't know, uh, maybe they're having some unexpected financial problems. That's for some of y'all, not for all of y'all. But there's communication, page of pentacles, page of wands. This is a small gift. For some of y'all, this person may get into an argument with the karmic that they're with. For some of y'all, they have a karmic and they like want to come over to you and talk to you and get some wisdom and some guidance from you. doesn't have to be here. <sighs> um, for some of y'all, this person feels like you left them out in the cold. 
and they want to talk about it. But they want to do more to talk about it. I don't. I mean, they do want a new a new beginning with you. They want to reunite with you here. Oh wait, can you see that? Empress energy. They know who you are. Uh oh. Anyway, it's not given that they that they have learned or grown. They still have some learning and healing to do. Um, do you have any advice? Any advice? Uh oh. Any advice? They're self reflecting, but they're not doing much reflecting. So spirit could be saying, just use your wisdom and discernment. You know what this looks like. You know what the signs are when this person comes towards you and wants to communicate and talk. Like, they're talking the same game, the same thing they've always, you know, like, you can smell it, sniff it from a mile away that is bullshit. What's the advice for the collective? No need to worry. Opportunity. Some of y'all have, um, oh yeah, in the pre-shuffle, I did see the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. So some of y'all have, like, either a new commitment coming in or a new job or a new promotion coming in, okay? Not the right time. Yeah, I think there's another opportunity here that you spirit wants you to be focused on. Or like, if, especially if you're about to experience some changes in money or have some form of new stability here. It's not the right time with this person. Meditation brings answers. So I feel like, you know, just spirit is saying you need to really think long and hard. Be in this hermit energy. Use your judgment. What did you experience with this person last time? You took them back. But last time, you know what I mean? Compromise. Compromise. Interesting. So some of y'all might decide to compromise. Bottom of the deck is choose a new direction. Okay, so this is giving me uh, really the compromise is you getting balance. Unless this person can bring balance and give to you equally. Because this compromise has a scale and this scale is balanced. Okay, the scale is balanced. So there won't be any compromising. You will continue to move forward in a new direction and focus on your abundance and or this opportunity that in, that involves uh, a long-term commitment of stability or a uh, long-term commitment in love. Okay. Let's pull Zodiac sign. Hit the like button, you guys. And um, Aquarius is here. This looks like Gemini, Gemini, and um, hit the subscribe button too, y'all. Love y'all. Who is this? I have Capricorn, Virgo, and Pisces. Okay, so that's Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo. All right, bye.